Alright, Barak Dai Hawa, Barak Dai Hawa Shah, Barak Dai Hawa, Barak Barak Dai Hawa Shah, Call Halal Yahweh by Shemel Shah, Double Honest to the Apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Alright, so this is another episode. I'm gonna do a video. Um, you know, just flow with the spirit. Uh the topic that was on my mind is um well the topic at hand. We're talking about uh being a soldier uh for Yahweh by Shemel Shah. In the army of Yahweh Hashem Shah. Okay, so um, as you know, this is a spiritual war that we're going through. You know that we're fighting, and uh, with this spiritual war, pretty soon it'll get physical. But right now we're in the spiritual aspect of it, and um, you know the the, the uh, one of the many battles that we're facing is these other opposition groups out here that that come with the doctrine that's contr contrary. To the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Um, so I just want to bring out some precepts. And um, the first precept I'm, I'm gonna bring out is um we got a Timothy. Let's, let's see uh let's go there real quick. Um second Timothy's uh two and three, which is a pretty common scripture, and then I'll go to first Timothy's. Um Alright, so 2 Timothy um, 2 verse 3 says, um, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier for Yahweh, for Yahweh, for Yahweh, for Yahweh, for Yahweh, for Yahweh, okay? It says, um, it says, No man that warf entangles himself, entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So, you know, we got to endure hardness. As a um, a good soldier for Yahweh Shah. Now, as a soldier on the battlefield, taking into consideration past wars, World War One, World War Two, World War uh, uh, Vietnam, you know, you had men in the trenches, mainly World War One, men in the trenches, and they lived within those trenches. They lived in those trenches for months in and months out, whatever condition of the battle that they had to deal with, whether it had been cold in uh, France. In the middle of winter, which is cold, you know, um, they dealt with the uh, rain season in the mud, you know, dealing with uh, 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 um, the uh, artillery shells, you know, being shell shot, you know, in a constant state of, uh, uh, of, 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 of misery and always having to be on alert, you know, because at any time they could be, be killed, you know. That's what a soldier has to endure. The condition of the battle, the uncertainty of, of what's to come or what's going to happen. Now, you know, with this Christian church thing, you know, they're going to come with all types of angles. And they don't understand the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. They don't have the faith. But uh, uh, you got to battle them. You got to battle them in no matter what condition, you know. Uh, the next scripture I'm going to go to is... um. Because I was right here. We go to 1 Timothy 6 and, and 12. It says, Fight the good fight of faith. They hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art, thou art also called. And has professed a good profession before many witnesses. <clears throat> Let me read it again. It says, Fight the good fight of faith. Which this is a fight. It's called the good fight, fight of faith. Because we believe in his word. And we're fighting for it. You know, we're fighting for this doctrine that we learn through the apostles of Great Millstone, which we believe that this uh, uh, doctrine has come from Yahweh Bashim Shah him, himself. Because we read in the scriptures uh, uh, the mentality of Yahweh Shah and what he said when he spoke to the disciples. And, you know, we have the understanding which was given us through the, the, through the apostles of Great Millstone, which got their understanding through, through uh, uh, their elders and their apostles. Okay, it says fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life. Um, it, eternal life is uh when Yahweh when Yahweh Shah come back, and he give us he give us our life, you know, because right now we're not living, so eternal life is forever, you know. It says um whereunto thou art ca are also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, and what's our profession that we 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 go out with. Pr pr Pro means uh, to say, you know, uh, uh, 
what is our profession? Our profession is is is, is prophesying, you know, is, is teaching, is edifying the saints of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. You know, that, that's our profession among among uh before many witnesses. Who are the witnesses? The brothers, the angels, you know, those are the witnesses, okay? Alright, so um we go to the next scripture. Let's go to the next scripture. We're going to go to the book of Romans, uh, the 12th chapter. So we're in Romans, the 12th chapter, Romans 12 and 1. And it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Okay? So it says, um, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So our reasonable service is to give our life to the Heavenly Father, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, pushing His word, when we go out on the highways and hedges, anything can happen, you know, but... Look, this is our reasonable service. Present your bodies a living sacrifice. The apostle, the apostle Paul, Yahweh Shah, okay, Yahweh Shah, he was the ultimate, uh, 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 the ultimate example of this scripture right here because he laid aside all his his desires, you know, and he 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 walked the path of the heavenly Father, his Father Yahweh. He walked that path. He he did everything that was commanded to him. So he's the ultimate example of presenting your bodies a living sacrifice. Now, when you go back to um, when you go back to uh, Second uh, Timothy's, Second Timothy's two and four says, "No man that warf entangles himself with the affairs of this life, because that's what you're you're sacrificing." You're sac you're sacrificing when you, when you you're in this truth when you're in this faith, you're sacrificing, um, the affairs of your life. That's what you're sacrificing, and it says um, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, and who have chosen us to be a soldier, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Now I got a I got a scripture. Let me look it up real quick. All right, I'm gonna look this scripture up real quick. Um, had it earlier. Let me see. All right, so let's go here. Now this is the book of uh, the book of John. Read that scripture again and uh Yeah there go right there. Read um this is uh I'm gonna read Timothy's again. It says uh this is uh second Timothy's two and four it says no man that wharf entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Alright, so you you got a lot of people, you know, we talked about I heard brother say uh you know, especially people in the Christian church, they talk about um, if you choose the Lord, you know, the Lord, the Lord, um, you can't choose the Most High. You can't choose your, you can't choose your Hawa, you can't choose your Hawa shot, you know, because if you, if you know about the scriptures, you'll know that the Lord have blinded Israel. So in order for you, you know, to, to, to not be blinded, really the Heavenly Father have to choose you, you know. And um, uh, let's go to uh, John the fifteenth chapter. John fifteen, and uh, I think it's six. John fifteen and six. No, John fifteen and sixteen should lock it. John fifteen and sixteen. It says um. 
Um, it says, uh, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. So, you know, that dispels the uh, Christian doctrine, you know, as far as um, you can choose the Heavenly Father. That 700 Club type shit, you know, 700 Club, like, you know, they, they have stories of people that, you know, was catching hell and said, you know, I opened my heart to the Lord and, you know, no, the scripture says in John 15 and, and, and uh, 16, it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Okay? So it's, it's, it's Yahweh Bashem Shah that chooses you. You know? He, he's the one that wakes you up out of the darkness. Because we've all, we've all, we, 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 we were all blinded to this world. Okay? Now, going back to, let's go back to, uh, the book of um the book of Romans the 12th chapter real quick we were all blinded all right and once every man that you see on down from the, the on up from the apostles you know the apostles Abba Bibbins okay uh, uh every man that you see that's standing out on the corner teaching the, the word of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah at one point was blinded okay you know, the scriptures mention that Israel, as a matter of fact, before I get that, um, I'm in Romans. I'm in Romans. Let me see where my, uh, let me. I'm going to read Romans uh, 10 and 1 real quick. It's another scripture now. Romans 10 and uh, 1 says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh, to the Most High for Israel, is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the Most High's now righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So it says, um, this is what Paul is speaking. It says, the majority of Israel, especially the people in the Christian church, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, which the Most High's righteousness comes through his service, the prophets. The, the, the prophets are, are, are warning you and admonish you and you telling and telling the people about the Most High's righteousness. But you got people in the Christian church, like for example, G-Man and all of these other Israelites that are, that, are, that are in a Gentile state of mind, you know, they're going about establishing their own righteousness according to the scriptures, which is not of the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, how, and how are they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness? One example is them neglecting prophecy. They're neglecting prophecy. They don't speak about prophecy, and, and, and brothers talk about that. All of these Christian, the, these Christian people that, that 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 say they believe in the Heavenly Father, which are ignorant to the Heavenly Father's righteousness, they don't speak about the prophecies because if they had known the righteousness of the Heavenly Father, an example or a display of them showing that is them speaking the prophecies. Remember. Uh, uh, what it says in the book of uh, Revelations, the 19th chapter, it says that uh, it says uh, that uh, Yahweh Shah, or the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, but it says, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. 
Mm -hmm. Okay? So they have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of the Heavenly Father. That's why they're blinded. All right, so I want a second. Bear with me for a second. That's a good scripture that I brought out. Um, it's another one that I wanted to bring out too. I'm gonna just looking at real quick. I should know this though. Um, some of these scriptures, I just be quick on these. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was right there. Yeah. This is Romans. This is the scripture that I really wanted right here. Um. This is Romans 11 and 7. It says, um, What then? Question mark. Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay, so it's, it's Yahweh Bashim El Shah that is the one that he's, he's woken up the elect, and the rest of Israel are blinded. The rest of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are blinded. So, like I said, from, from going, going back to the elders, the apostles, the men that are teaching this word, at one time, every, everybody was blinded. We didn't know who, we, who the hell we were, you know? Now we're coming back into uh, the, the true understanding of our power, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shah. And even Israelites that call themselves Israelites, are still blinded. They have an obscure vision. They see. They know that they're Israelites, but going back to uh, 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 being ignorant of the uh, Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Okay, that's that's uh, these other camps. You know, these other camps because they're establishing their their own doctrine. You know. That's why they haven't fully come into the knowledge of the Heavenly Father of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Now going back into the into the topic at hand, being a soldier in this thing, this is the condition of the battle that you're dealing with, you know. And this is a spiritual battle first. Let's go back in. Let's let's let me look at this scripture. Up. These are basic scriptures. I should be able to. Let's go um to the book of um let's go to the book of uh second Corinthians ten ten and four. This is the book of Second Corinthians ten and, and four. It says it says um Corinthians 10 verse 4 says uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna read up I'm gonna start at one I'm gonna start at one but I'm gonna read down to uh, verse 5 it says now I Paul myself besiege you by the the meekness and gentleness of Yahweh Shah who in presence and base among you uh it says but being absent and bold towards you but I besiege you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. Because, you know, uh, uh, Paul had a lot of opposition in, in back during the time of, uh, uh, of the Acts of the Apostles. And they thought Paul as a man that would walk according to the flesh. You know, it says, for though we walk in the flesh... We do not war after the flesh. So do we, we walk in the flesh, meaning we're, we're in the flesh, we're in this body. We have to deal with them certain demons, you know, that come attached with the flesh. 
we do not war after the flesh. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh, through the Most High, to the pulling down of strongholds. And what are these strongholds that we're pulling down? We're pulling down all of these philosophies that are, that are out here in the world. And how are we pulling them down according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah that comes from these scriptures? And that's what you see, you know, through these various camps throughout the, uh, uh, throughout the state, throughout the world. Brothers coming into this knowledge, you know, making videos, okay? It says, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the, through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations. What type of imaginations are out there? And how do we pull these strongholds down? We pull these strongholds down through the scriptures. That's why we bring out the scriptures that show you that the Lord ain't come back for everybody. He's not coming. When he comes back, he's not coming back for everybody. When the Lord comes back, he's coming back to uh, uh, bring judgment. We tell you about the judgment and the prophecies of the judgments in the scriptures. And that's how we pull down the strongholds with the scriptures, with the prophecies, you know. It says casting down imaginations. What are some other imaginations out there? The hell doctrine. Okay, you got uh, uh, everybody can be saved if they accept Jesus Christ. What, what, the, what did the Lord look like according to the scriptures compared to the image that's out there? Of 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 of, of um, the one who the whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. These are things that we we pull down. You know we 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 uh, uh we 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 cast casting down the imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Woman worship, so Semiramis and Tammuz. You know, these are things that we, we've been set on the defense. We've been set in motion to defend, you know, defend the gospel against. And that's why we, we're at war with the so-called Christian church. You know, not at war physically. Not at war physically, but at war spiritually. And this is the battle. This is the condition of the battle that we, we had to fight against. We're going to have guys like G-Man coming up to the camp. Was spewing his doctrine, you know, spewing his doctrine. But you got brothers out there making videos, you know, confounding and bringing out precepts, you know. But these guys, they have a stronghold. Their stronghold and the stronghold, um, the stronghold of these doctrines is so much on the people that the only thing that the heavenly Father can do is use us to bring out his precepts. And then, at a point in time, just destroy these people, man. Destroy that whole way of thinking. And that's what's going to happen when the destruction comes. That's why we bring out the prophecies. You know? Because people are not going to think like that after all hell breaks loose. The people that think like G-Man, people that think like Jesus is the word, the people that think like Vocab Malone, they're going to be destroyed, man, when the judgment comes. So, the Lord has... The Lord set up Paul to, 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 to defend the gospel. And the men that came after Paul and the men in these times are set to defend the gospel and, and, and push the word and push the prophecies. Okay, it says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringeth into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shah. And having, verse 6, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So when the men of the Lord's obedience to the Heavenly Father and to the doctrine and, and being grunts in his truth as soldiers to, to Yahweh Shah, we're going to have a readiness to revenge all disobedience. So after this word goes out and you believe in those strongholds, that we 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 um that the men of the Lord, the men that's doing this work, if you keep on if you if you you uh, uh keep on uh, uh you know defending those 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 strongholds those worldly uh, doctrines, 
You know, the Lord is gonna, the spirit of the Lord is gonna is gonna destroy you. The spirit of the true living power is gonna destroy you. And and who is who is this gonna who is he gonna use to destroy you? He's gonna use his men after their obedience is fulfilled. And our obedience, remember what our obedience is, our obedience is to keep on pushing his word and endure in his knowledge. Okay? Now, let's go back to uh, the book of uh, Romans 12. I'm about to uh, wrap it up. But I want to, I'm going to go back and read. Um, it might seem like I'm jumping around. I just, you know, want, I just want to convey that, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, week in and week out with soldiers and, um, you know, coming into another season, as the word says, um, be instant in season, out of season. And when you're a grunt on the battlefield, you fight and you fight in season and out of season. The enemy is out on the other side. He wants to kill you in season and out of season. Okay? Shalak you. Uh, I'm going to read in Romans 12 and uh, 1 again. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you, the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And it, it is. And to be honest with you, this is our reasonable service. Our reasonable service is to do this work. And, I mean, um, our reasonable service is to give up our life because of the mercies uh, the Heavenly Father, look what the Heavenly Father has bestowed on the brotherhood, man. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in, in, in this dark place, which is called America or Babylon. This, it's not just uh, Babylon, but it's the whole world. The whole world lies in darkness. And for the Yahweh Bashem El Shah to give us a light, which was Yahweh Shah, and, and, and he... Yahweh Shai gave us the comforter, which is the understanding of the word. That's the mercies, man. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So it's our reasonable service that if we have to die for this word, so be it. Because it's the mercies of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that give us this beautiful knowledge. You know? Verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but ye, but be ye transformed, meaning be changed by the renewing of your mind. Be ye changed by the renewing of your mind. So when you, you first came into this word, you heard this word, you embraced this word, you wanted to know more of this word and, and, and through the process of time, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahasha, he renewed your mind. He turned you from thinking thoughts of this world, how you're going to make it in this world, what you want to do in, in, uh, uh, in years to come, long term plans. And he renewed you and transformed your mind into his way of thinking. Uh, putting on the mind of Yahweh Shah. It says, um, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that what is Shalakia. It says, By the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Okay? So, you know, just, uh, you know, just bringing out, you know, precepts. You know, we got to continue in this faith. Um, there's going to be greater battles ahead, you know. But, uh, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we're going to get through these battles. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy and he's going to show us beautiful things. You know, this is just a trial period, man. This is just a, uh, uh, this is just a, this, this is just a, the trial before the battle. You know, but the battle, a greater battle is coming ahead, you know, for Akim, you know. But um, with that, I'm just going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to your brothers that's pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. And keep on watching and, you know, be diligent, 
you know, until the next episode, Shalom.